Hello, Internet. This is Marchers with Munchies Food Review. Today, folks, we are joined once again by our wonderful co- our, our both of us wonderful co-hosts, Ben Kajowski and me and myself, Weston Matlow. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to food reviews, it's always important to try and find that one product that touches on that nostalgia. And when nothing new comes out consistently, it's important to find something that's very important to us as children. I don't know what exactly we're reviewing. Weston was just kind of like, let's get Domino's. I'm like, all right, Domino's exactly. is good. Exactly. So, you know, a general pizza review on many restaurants, as we've done in the past, such as Pizza Hut, is important because it allows us to make sure that we're making the best buying option. Now today, folks, we have that just here today. We have ourselves a Domino's chicken ranch pizza, chicken bacon ranch pizza. All right, as you can see, very beautiful. All right. Now, Ben, what, what what are you hoping to get out of this delicious pizza? I don't know. Chicken bacon ranch is like pretty good, and it's one of my favorite kinds of pizzas. So hopefully, it doesn't ruin that experience. Indeed. Pizza, chicken bacon ranch pizza. All right. Let's take our let's take our take first a corner piece because I'm a nerd. So is DJ because he didn't show up. <laughs> Here we go. There's the cross section, as we always try to get. This is a uh, thin tossed chicken ranch, bacon ranch pizza. Um, so while, while we're eating, I might as well go through the process that it takes to order pizza from Domino's. Now, Domino's Pizza is a high quality business. They compete with Papa John's quite a bit, and they, the only problem with their entire service system is the process to order a pizza. Compared to places such as Marco's or Little Caesars, you can call in and all you can do is give your name, how much, what you want, and that's it. With Domino's, there seems to be a bit of a process. You have to call, wait the 15 seconds for the advertisements to pass, then you have to wait for someone to pick you up, pick up the phone. Then their phones don't work very well, so you can't really hear them, you have to repeat stuff. Redeeming a gift card is a part of that difficult process. And on top of that, splitting it between gift card and dollar bill is also difficult. But honestly, for the pizza, it's completely worth it. Mm-hmm. And Thin Crust Man is just... Mm. I think we have our new signature already. Mm. Mm. It's got it's gotta that, be simultaneous, though. It's gotta be that simultaneous bone apple teeth. But bone app. Shall we take it? A, take a second slice? Or? Oh, honey, I've been on the second slice. Oh. Well, thirds then. <laughs> I also noticed the music was playing. I'm just like, oh crap. <laughs> Not getting copyright today for our videos that aren't on uh, aren't monetized. Sorry, casual. You had your chance. I usually like tomatoes, but the tomatoes on here are really good. Yeah, they, they certainly do uh, add some flavor to it. Compared to other restaurants, I would say that they really are not overpowering. There are two people hugging outside the car, and I wish them well. Oh, it's U.S. Postal Service. I feel like I should thank them for their service. What a great pizza. Indeed. Just right off the bat. Great pizza. What what what, do you, what is your review on this? I don't know. It was kind of bland, but it was like in a good way. Like nothing was overpowering. Everything was kind of like well balanced flavor wise. Tomatoes added a nice touch that I didn't think I'd enjoyed, but I did. The crust was also like mm. Mm -hmm. It like it almost like melted in your mouth, but not quite. Like it still had a satisfying crunch, but it was it was good. I liked it. Certainly, 
Uh, right off the bat for me, the, the first thing that caught my attention was, was indeed the flatbread crust that comes with it. It has a, it does kind of melt in your mouth a little bit. It, it really just melts but still has that delicious crunch. It's not too bitter of a crunch where it hurts your teeth and, you know, completely scrapes up your mouth, but certainly has a good flatness to it. Uh, the ranch itself is very creamy, it's very savory, it's not over salty or overbearing compared to other pizza restaurants. The chicken itself is grilled and is quite delicious, has that uh, good, it has the good herbs and spices on overlaying the pizza along with the cheese. And the tomato is certainly a good touch. Many restaurants do tend to add the tomato and in some cases it's overpowering, over like it just is too much. Uh, places such as Jacob's Pizza is one that really does come to mind when, when trying, when tasting this. Um, certainly the crust is, it, it, as you can see from just this one slice alone, it has a good golden brown color and texture to it that really does add to the flavor. Um, in all, I think that this is a wonderful, delectable pizza. It, it caught, it was around $17.29 was the, was the total, and certainly has a lot different compared to other restaurants and it has a little bit more quality to it all um, but you know it certainly does not disappoint at whatsoever for the price that you get for it. it's a decent sized pizza it's got a decent taste you know that's all i really have to say what what, what would you, you know? might kind of went over everything like the crust the ranch is pretty good the ranch from like everywhere else but store-bought ranch is like way better than store bought ranch. It's weird. Yeah. The ranch at my work, they have these like giant tubs and I'm just like, can I just buy one of those? It's $33, but it's worth $33. <laughs> Indeed. Well, then what, what would you rate this? Would you rate this pizza? Definitely like a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Indeed. I w it's pretty good. I, I myself would also give it a uh, 9.3 out of 10 on this too. Um, certainly, the, the order, the, pro the process of ordering does cut back, but certainly it is quite worth the wait. I didn't have to go through the process of ordering, so that's not biasing my opinion. <laughs> exactly. All he had to do was drive. <laughs> but you know, this is this has been a good experience, a good different uh, change in our our recent videos and content. Uh, certainly, as a lot of different, it's different. Say the least, but, uh, anyway, this has been Marchers with Munchies Food Review. We'll see you guys next week. Any last notes before we leave, Ben? Anything uh, you want to nope. talk about, say, or wish people or anything such as that? No. Uh, All good. This has been Marchers with Munchies Food Review. Make sure to follow us, like and subscribe, share, and click that little bell icon so we can get hopefully monetization at some point. <laughs> I'm Weston Matlow. <laughs> Funny joke. I am Ben. And we will see you guys later.